Good morning and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to present you my recipe for the HRC Culinary Academy Scholarship. I'm going to present you a traditional recipe that is Bigoli Colarna that translated is spaghetti with duck sauce. Um, I'm going to work with the ingredients and I'm going to show you uh, how these different ingredients um, are found in my region and how I uh, work with them. So let's check it out. The first ingredient that is the flour. Quando che ti ho visto sul bare otto del mascio, ho capito che tu mi piaci molto. Da quando che ti ho visto sul bare otto del mascio, ho capito che tu mi piaci molto. Marietta, te mi piaci come ste come il mare. Ma te prego torna a casa e ti faccio svedelare. Te mi piaci con te sighi come gaine del ponaro. E dopo quando che ti aro io mi sento tanto sentimento. Non come quando che c'ha poi piegore i cunice cavarete e li tocco anche le tete. Ma non sento sentimento. Da quando che ti ho visto sul bar otto del marcio ho capito che tu mi piaci molto Da quando che ti ho visto sul bar otto del marcio ho capito che Perfect. So now that we have the flour, we have to check out the sauce. So how to we do the sauce with the duck? So let's check out which type of dark we are, we are using and what is the flavor and everything else. So let's check it out, check it out the second ingredient. Okay, so we are here today and we are checking out the ducks for our sauce. Um, we are not talking about easy ducks like normal ducks that you could find everywhere. We are talking about mylar. Uh, you could see there, and these are ducks that uh, are free and not farmed ducks. So uh, these wild ducks uh, you can see there, and their taste is different than the normal ducks. So uh, you can have a different flavor, more like wild flavor. Meat I took for this recipe comes really from the territory. So um, also the ducks here are the tra traditional ducks that you can find here. You can find also in the rest of Europe, but um, former, in former times these were the ducks that you could find here. Not the nowadays ones, but these ones. Amazing, huh? And now let's check out the third and last ingredient that we are going to see is the beer. So the Maranella beer directly for, from the breweries, so directly from Girona. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are and we are trying uh, the beer of Girona. Uh, this is the typical Vicenza uh, beer shop and as you can see they serve you the beer with some, um, some food to taste. We have olives, we have cheese and typical uh, Vicentinian salami. So I'm here to try the beer to put into the dish. Um, we have here the Maranella and it's a number beer as you can see and it's made out of um, Maranello corn. That is a corn typical of Vicenza. You can't find it anywhere else. So we are going to try this beer to see if it's good for your for our dish and if it's good for the duck sauce. So we will try it. In mouth 
you can see the you can feel the sweetness of this corn and it's amazing because it's not too too sweet so uh, it is well balanced with the malt and with the hop so I think this would be a good beer and also it's quite um, linked to our traditions because this corn you can find it only here and it's typical of this territory and the thing of the beer is a new thing so not so common here in Vicenza but I guess it will get common in the future nice and at last let's see how the magic is so let's see how to do this pasta and how everything works so let's do it okay so here we are doing the bigoli and as you can see we have the different ingredients we have the flour and is a wheat flour um, then we have the salt and we have the egg um, I took uh, 250 grams of flour for three eggs so now we start doing the dough and yeah then you can see how everything is done so we start putting the flour here then with the fork we do a hole in the center to, to put the eggs later uh, we put a bunch of salt around this hole and this will help the, um, the making of the dough then we open the eggs uh, as you can see all these are fresh eggs so nothing um, took at the supermarket and everything is fresh and traditional way so we open the eggs Okay, then we put away these things, not useful anymore, so we put them here and we start mixing. So, as you can see, the making is not difficult in itself and now you're just trying to let the eggs doing uh, a dough with the flour okay so now we go with the hands we try to put together all this thing and then we go out there here okay as you can see uh, this is the right shape and so this can go inside the machine called Nicola. Uh we are going to divide this thing in three pieces three different pieces uh, because the length is not that much so now I'm, mo I'm going to divide and then I will show you how to prepare the bigolar for the pasta okay so now we are going to open the, the bigolar and first we have to open this okay Now we are taking on the press, picking up. Okay, uh, now we have the two sides die or extruder, and we have to put the larger one on top so the duff will go inside here and then go out from the smaller side. Yeah, this. Wait. Wait. 
We have to check if this is the correct one. I don't think so. This is better. Okay, perfect. So now we have the big one ready. We put on bottom a cup of um, corn flour. So uh, when the bigoli comes out, we will put some flour on the bigoli and then the bigoli will be ready. So we put this here, okay, just under the bigola, and then we start from the first. So this is on top, we put it inside here, okay. And now we go down. And when it starts to get more difficult to press, means that we are pressing the down the extruder. Okay, good. So when they are on the le uh, right land, uh, we take some flour, some corn flour, and we start putting the flour on the big one. In this way they will not stick together and we can manage to let them stay separated. Bring, take a knife, we um, take the bigoli and then we cut with the knife. Okay. Now we put them here. Uh, wait, I can show you. Okay, so here we are doing the duck sauce. Uh, for the duck sauce we use a few ingredients. So first of all we use the lard. Um, this is used in, inside of the oil. So we are putting this inside the pot and then we are using the other ingredients that are one and a half onion, uh, one carrot, uh, celery, uh, I will take two. Um, and then after we let them cook together, we add the duck, uh, the maillard, and rosemary and sage. So, with these ingredients, now we are going to do the recipe. So first of all, I'm going to cut the, the lard. Um, it doesn't have to be cut in really small pieces. So we can start from here. Okay, and then we can cut it up, for example. So, we do up and we put it here. And then we can do another, another part. Okay, I think this is enough. And again, okay. After that, we have to put this into the fire, so we are letting the the lard melt, and then we will add onion and carrot. So I'm going first to cut the onions. As you can see, it's not really fine chopped, so it's not really a problem. Okay, so we have onions. Then I will cut the carrot, and also for this one, okay, this is better if it is well chopped, uh, it doesn't have to be really thick because then we would feel it in the mouth while eating the bigoli.
Okay, so now after the carrot, I will cut the celery. Uh, in this case, uh, we don't need really to be uh, thin cutted, so I won't cut really small, I will cut like here. So we'll do the like, three, four cut of more. So this is just for the flavor, then we are going to take it out. Okay. So now we put the lard into the pot and on the fire. And now we will have to wait a few minutes until the lard smells, melts, and then we will add the onion, carrot, and celery. The lard is melt, as you can see, is getting uncolored. So we are putting in all and then we stir a bit. We are going to cut down the duck. So as you can see we already cut the, the bones uh, which we will use to do the broth to cook the bigly. So now we, we have just the bust of the, the duck and we are going to cut it in small pieces here and you can see we cut in dices so these dices we put in here and we continue Okay, so now as you can see, uh, the, the uh, bottom part is ready, so we can put the duck. So here, we have duck here, and we put the fire on fire. So now we will let the duck stay, take a bit of flavor, a bit of taste. The bottom part. And then we will add rosemary and sage. Okay, so now the, the duck here is ready and we are going to add the secret ingredient that is the maranella. Uh, this is a number beer and this is a beer that will give a multi taste and a bit of sweetness that is lacking here with the duck. So we are going to open this. Now we are going to add the beer. We are going to load the fire and then we are going to cook the duck with the beer. So the beer won't uh, evaporate too early and then We added like kind of half and then we are keeping the rest for later. So now we have the duck, the beer and now let's let the magic begin. So it will take a few hours now to get the duck um, really soft and yep so that's it for now. Okay so we moved from the other kitchen to this one and now we put the broth to boil and then we will put the bigot inside and then cook it with the duck sauce. Uh, as you can see the duck sauce uh, became a really good and nice round and it's getting really really soft so it's going to be great. So pasta is ready and now we close here Here, of course, pasta is al dente. So, down here, and we have all the good sauce here. So, now we are letting this here, and we are cooking for a few seconds together at high fire. In this way, you can see 
that all the souls will get together with the pasta. As you can see, the shape of the bigoli will help to help the souls with the bigoli themselves. So here, um, yeah, I'm not uh, letting the, the pasta stir because it's too heavy to, to take it. So I'm just. And now we are doing a different thing that you could think. So instead of serving uh, plate by plate, dish by dish, we are going to do like the traditional way. So we are putting all the pasta together here. Because in former times it was not used to do a single dish but was used to serve all together and then divide for the family. So also in this case we are putting it here and then divide for all the family. So as you have seen uh, the recipe is not difficult and the ingredients are easy. Um, I wanted to give a touch of tradition in the end. I didn't want to change much of the recipe because I thought that that was the, my thing. My thing was uh, just finding the nice and good ingredients and just let them stay natural. So not adding or doing all the things to manipulate it, but just give to, to me, to my family and to you as well um, the, the purity of these ingredients and the good of the duck, the beer, and flour. So for today this is it, and thank you for the attention, and yeah, see you next time. Qua quanto è che devo andare avanti? No, 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 eh, per sparti un po' quei mani, che mi dico anche, mi dico molto male. Eh, si sparo. Ma mettiamo un po' che Ah, beh, sì, sì, non lo so.